Welcome to this video about Border Mega, one of the new features in Predesign Studio 2. It's located in the toolbar. There's a new button for it. Click on it and a window opens. Find one of the shapes that comes with the program and set the height, here 4 inch. Then keep adding shapes. You can see how wide your border or your pento is going to be. And click on OK. Press the spacebar once to see everything in, in the window. And there you go. OK, scroll a little bit away. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make a copy and flip it. Flip it and align. You could also change the color for this second row. And that makes it up, makes lining up easier for your Panto table. Okay, let's add an extra section here at the beginning. I made a special start and end drawing. Here's the end one, and this one is for the start. Don't forget to set the height to the same value, so 4 inch. Click Add Shape, click on OK. And while it's still selected, move it in place. Okay, scroll to the end. Make place for that next object. Click on the border maker tool, select feather border and set the height, same value, 4 inch here. And while it's still selected, move it in place. Let's see where it lines up. And then click outside the selection, just move points on top of each other. Tweak the lines a little bit so that the endpoints are all at the same level. Okay, to get a nice view, hide the grid, hide the points, and there's your pattern. Another new feature is the Show Height Print Preview here in Studio 2. You can see how the Panto will print over the pages and you can influence that by adding a little line. See? It just changes the way it will print over the pages. Okay, this one can go. One thing to do, just add a copyright notice or instructions for your customers or anything you want printed on that paper. Click on OK. And then choose File, Print Pattern. It will print on the selected paper. Here is just an A4 or letter size paper. And here's my trick to tape the pages together. First, secure them on, ta on the table with uh, post-it notes. That prevents the paper from jumping up to your sellotape. And take sellotape, page tape the pages together, and there's your pento roll. Okay, the program comes with lot of, uh, lots of uh, ready-made shapes for you. And let me show you how to create a pento pattern yourself. So, take a background image. Anything will do. Any inspiration is good. Italian, Tuscany, borders, uh, balconies, uh, wallpaper, anything. Scribbles of your customer, scribbles of yourself. Doesn't matter. Open as a background. Take the curve tool or the free motion tool. Whichever you prefer. I like it, uh, the curve tool better because I can be more precise than with the free motion tool. Click from point to point. You can see that you don't need many points here. Okay, click. And right click at the end to finish that shape. Okay, then take the select tool. First my background image can go. It has done its duty, its work. 
select points to tweak the drawing. Well, looking okay now. And double click on it to select it. Copy. Scroll away. And then press Ctrl and V, the keyboard combination, to paste the copy. Right click. Choose flip. And right click another time. Choose mirror. And take the first point and just move it to the last point of the original. Press spacebar once to get a view, to get everything on your screen in view. And tweak the drawing. Maybe this point, well, I, I better delete it. This one too. That makes the line smoother. One final thing to do is set first and last point at the same level. Set snap to grid on, move the points to the same level, and then turn snap to grid off again. And save. And save in the folder shapes. It's inside the pre-designed Studio 2 program folder. Give it a name. Save. And there you go. Now it's ready for you to create a border, a panto, at any size you want. Just open the border maker. Find the pattern you just made. There you go. Set the height. And for this simple pattern, then mm, I think 3 inch will do. Keep adding shapes until the width is uh, the width of your um, quilt. And click on OK. That easy. Hide the grid, hide the points to get a better view. And print the pattern. Enjoy. More information? Visit our website, predesignstudio.com. Thanks for watching.